My path is a very peaceful path, but uh, very powerful. Coming here to satsang like this is such an amazing opportunity to actually experience that transformation from living here and here to really seeing from here the place of pure being. Namaste, Uji Baba. Namaste, Ji. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, thank you, Uji Baba. Thank ah, you. Thank you. I've been with you for virtually for last almost two years now, but it feels that that you've always been with me. It's, it's, yes, that 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 is I, true. My, Questions, the questions vanish when, when I see you. The, I just, just want, want your blessings, your help to, to, to free me of, free me of Maya. There are glimpses. Modi Baba glimpses of of bliss that come and then they go and somehow mind keeps on creating reasons of responsibility reasons of of obligations that I may have. Yes. And and that that feels like a that feels like a foundation at times. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They're not mutually in conflict, you know. Um, <clears throat> it's the way that they are perceived. You can do as much as you can do, but you don't have to strain and stress yourself to accomplish the things of this world. Um, and also <clears throat> uh, prioritize, you know, as much as you can, you may uh, satisfy the needs of your daily functions, daily life and so on. But uh, don't forsake this inner uh, uh, connectedness, this inner oneness. Um, if you put your energy there, I was saying to someone recently, if you use your terrestrial existence, if you use your earthly um, energies to attain earthly goals, your earthly goals may come, but they will not last. But if you use your earthly energies uh, for spiritual goals, your spiritual goals will also take care of your earthly responsibilities. That is the correct um, measure, you know. Uh, by this, and when we speak of spiritual goals, here it is being presented in a very accessible, very direct, and uh, and and very feasible, very much with you. It's not something outside of you. So I'm not going to send you off and say, you know, you go to the Himalayas or go to this place or that place. That may have been an earlier advice, maybe for some people, and it's fine. I have nothing against. The various practices that are that are undertaken by seekers of truth, but here I'm share showing you just where you can look from. Uh, the more you are aware, you are aware of all the things that that arise in your mind through the mind and the senses, and they may have a, a unique kind of uh, flavor because they are also shaped by a conditioning and so on. But in whatever in whatever route they may take to appear to you, they are watched from the same place of impersonal awareness. Your natural being uh, is beyond history. It has no history. And it is just, uh, uh, let's call it pure presence for now. It is from this place that you are perceiving everything, including 
the idea you have of yourself or personal identity is also included in the pictures that you are perceiving in life. But really, because we have so much attachment to them, the attachment to personal, the personal expression of consciousness effectively make the deep truth of yourself seem veiled, or maybe you are not even aware of it. But coming here to satsang like this, please, for each one I speak to you, is such an amazing opportunity to, in, to actually experience that transformation from living here and here to really seeing from here the place of pure being. And whatever route you take, whatever form your spiritual practices take, the results are felt from here. They're here. You see, my path is a very peaceful path, but uh, very powerful. It's the most powerful in the sense that it may not be energetically expressive in this way, but it is confirming the deep stillness and peace, not an intellectual confirmation, but an experiential confirmation that God, purity, pure consciousness, is the core of your being, and is here. That is not merely belief. Mm. Belief must itself uh, combust into direct experience, and not a fleeting experience, not an experience in the mind that comes and goes, but the substratum of all experiencing is your nature. This is good news here, but it is a powerful truth here. So, if you continue to listen and follow the simplicity of my guidance, it is only directing you, not asking you to create, or to imagine, or to go out, but to stay where you are and look, because consciousness and yourself is one. Yes. It's it's when the it, it it's when it feels like it's when it's when I allow the the head to take over yes. the heart. Yes. It never can take over the heart, but it will be experienced when we ourselves leave your seat, your root being and get identified in your personal life. And it seems as though the habit creates this pull to always be, no, there's, there's always a must-to-do list from the mind. But even if there is one, and even if it is practical on some level, watch from the place of that neutral um, observing. And pay attention to, it's like, observe that you are observing. Don't, don't give that to your head. When you actually do it, you see the practicality of what I am saying. Be aware that you are aware of what is appearing. Initially, double awareness. Aware that you are aware. Be conscious that you are conscious. And then the energy that goes out into the world, in the mind, and so on, rests here. And it is this that takes care and oversees your life. And when I say, now you will see life takes care of life more. Not life takes care of life, get on with it over there. No, you are both that which is uh, the seer and the seen also. There is an aspect of your life that must move in the world and so on. But now it is sitting in the lap of the deeper consciousness. You have the opportunity because uh, these these are going to be rec these are being recorded these such mm -hmm. songs, so you can listen again to the conversation we're having now, and just take your time and grasp what I'm pointing to. I'm not giving you a checklist of things to do. I'm not a to-do list. Simply one thing: that before any beginnings, throughout all durations, and after all endings, something remains the same here. 
be in touch with that. There is no visual recognition of that. It is not the, oh, I can see that. No, all seeing is from that and within that. If you pay attention to this, prioritize this, it doesn't mean you have to sit all day in the room doing this, but with the space that you have, prioritize this, and it will have it will bless every aspect of your expression that flows from it. You will find many things in your life that you'd struggle to try and control or to manipulate, they will begin to autocorrect in some way. Bless me. Bless me. Because the person's work is never done. But from the self, there is no strain when watched from here. And it is not lazy. It is the cause of every action in the world, not just of human beings. The grace of God is manifesting and taking care of all things. Let it act through you. Oh, thank you. And bless you for this. You're on the right path. Keep prioritizing. We don't have to be, you know, blocking people and throwing things. No, no, no. The the root is in detachment and detached observing. It's not sitting on our hands and saying, I'm not going to do anything. But it is watching from that place which is the core of your existence the heart of your existence, living in and as awareness itself. I am not saying that a person should live as awareness. I am saying the person itself is an image inside the awareness, which is imageless itself. So it may take a little bit to go over these things and to keep looking, slowly, slowly drink at your own pace, and gradually you will see that that water goes everywhere is seen. So only this is to be grasped. But somehow it can appear as though so much forces are acting to distract you from being focused in here. For a time, for a time, you earn your self victory. If we say, but oh these things keep coming, yeah of course they'll come. God send them to you also. Take this attitude. But not to fail, but to make use of them, to develop uh, and to intensify, to strengthen your discernment, your seeing. This is not a violence. This is great love, great wisdom. You need not fight the world. Understand it by observing that without you, none of it exists. It is a big statement. But it do not exist for you if you are not here. What we are experiencing is our take on the world through our conditioning and learning. All of that being said, hmm, you follow this simple pointing. Don't go out to learn about the world. You'll find out everything you need to know about the world right here by paying attention acutely to your own stillness. You don't even need to try to be still. Don't put the effort, I've got to try to be quiet. No, because even trying to be quiet, efforts to be still, are watched from stillness. It will come, you will mm-hmm. come to see. In the beginning, of course, our orientation in the mind towards the world seems to uh, not sit right with this. It's OK, it's OK. I'm not asking you to control the world. Let Leave that to God. But you look and Clarify your own presence here, which is sitting inside the allness of God. And so, as you uh, stabilize in this understanding, and all grace is with you for this, Ritesh, all grace is with you. And Thank also, you. In, meet, in meeting you like this, also is the furthering of grace and the, the, and the, and the, the intensification of it. Not in a wild way, but in a deepening, in a more peaceful way, in an encouraging way. You see? If you follow this, you cannot fail. You cannot fail. 
the self cannot fail. The world cannot cover the self from the perspective of the self. The world only appears to cover the self from the perspective of the person. But the person is not the reality of you. The person you 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 could have been you could have been brought up in different countries and your expressions would be different. But your core is the same. So I am in uh, in uh, in reverence to the core because the various uh, expressions and so on they are not stable. So don't waste too much time with that. You do this, and it will harmonize. It will harmonize all uh, your uh, dynamic activities. Will come under its grace. Yeah. Sweep as you go. As I said, you no need. Don't buy extensions for your broom. As you go, sweep. Sweeping means whatever comes to hand, then you you take care of that. But in a little spare time, whatever spare time you have, or you, some people have a good amount, some people have little. But uh, and those sometimes who have little, make full use of it. Sit with yourself. You see, leave the world aside for a moment, or at least begin by observing the things that the world that appears through the mind, because that's where the world is appearing in here. Be aware how it comes in the form of thoughts and memories, intention, desires, identity, all of that. Is arising as images within the imageless and limitless field of being that you are. For a long time, we have been so involved with the traffic <coughs> of worldly phenomenon that there is little time, if any, to awaken. Even the urge to awaken or to go beyond it does not uh, come so easily. Sometimes it's pain and suffering that uh, that. That turns your attention backwards, inwards. You see, there's nothing. There's not. There's not a lot of things to work out. That is my great uh, sharing with you, all of you. I'm not sending you on a mission and saying, you know, there's 15 steps to awakening. I'm pointing you to that before even the first step is made. Is here. No, those who can hear and actually follow, find what you find. Becomes natural for you. This is the challenge of this existence, and in my own way, the purpose for why it came about, that you will use the opportunity to awaken to your harmony with the the fundamental consciousness that governs all, not just this earth, but the worlds and all the universes actually. Are created out through by and sustained by that one power, and it is in all beings. Even if you don't believe in it, doesn't matter. Belief and disbelief are superficial things to it, but belief will take you on the right road to self-discovery, and you are here on the path of self-discovery. Whatever you are going to discover in the highest sense is already here. It's just a question we have not really been fully aware of it. Growing in awareness is uh, is a natural way also. But Ritesh, bless you. I like what you share, and uh, that you are honest enough to say the pressures of the world does come in, and uh, expectations for most people, um, you know, they come up, and they can seem to get in the way of your spiritual potential. They really don't. It you must make that choice. You don't have to demonstrate that choice, but you must take that choice inwardly for yourself, and spend. Even if a man is so oppressed by the world around him that the only he has to make his his his, his bathroom into his temple, he will go and find and set a place there. Ooh. You understand? You are never without space. <clears throat> Some people go to jail, go to prison to wake up to the truth. Mm. I feel. I feel with Thank you. Thank you so much. Bless you, Ritesh. Wonderful. Mm. Wonderful. You are my own self. <sighs> Thank you.
Thank you, madam.